Join me now from the London Stock Exchange is the company's chief executive, Stephen Kossoff. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, your share price My is price getting is. some 2.8%. Uh, I wanted to focus on the fact that you said your growth, your business will grow in 2012. What are going to be the main areas of growth regionally? Well, we, 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 we've got six very good businesses. Um, we believe that um, the one business in this particular period was held back by late stage uh, impairments. And um, we see that that business will certainly be recovering in this next financial year. And the other businesses have good momentum. We've seen very strong inflow in funds under management. Uh, for our asset management business, our wealth business, we've integrated into a global business and uh, we see good traction in our businesses. So does it mean that actually overall the picture is much rosier now than it was just five, six months ago? The economy seems uh, to be picking up nicely, slowly but nicely. What's your main concern? I think the economies are moving in slow motion but they are moving forward and I think uh, People have been saving a lot more and balance sheets are starting to have improved quite significantly. And uh, as long as there's no sort of blow up anywhere in the world, um, you know, life should start improving on the ground. Mm -hmm. And now we are seeing more activity, but you, not uh, rabbit activity. You also want to expand in uh, India and Hong Kong. Why these two countries? Do you think that it's there where you'll be able to make the most margins? No, I think that is, those are just bridges between linking Asia to our African business. And uh, there's a lot of interest from India and from China in South Africa and the rest of Africa. And, um, you know, we one of the mainstream investment banks in South Africa. And we need to be party to the flows that uh, transpire between those continents. But what is your biggest concern today? If you tell me that actually you're not concerned too much about the global economy because it's, it's, uh, it's slow but growing, what do you worry about? Is it the fact that you still have to pay a lot of money to find the good staff to staff your operations? Yeah, I, I think that you know, in our industry you always have to pay people well and uh, there's always a lot of talk out there about that. Um, that's not what would worry me. I think what would worry me is perhaps an oil price going to $200 and putting the world back into recession. But, uh, you know, day to day we've come through four years of fairly tough trading conditions and um, overall we think that we are moving through that and therefore one is feeling a lot more relaxed about life. Obviously the regulatory environment is still challenging and but we expect you know those things will also be sorted out within the not too distant future and we'll have a lot more clarity. And what worries you the most actually in this regulatory environment? Is it the ratios that you need to, to be holding? No, I think we're already above the ratios we would need to be holding, so I don't think that worries us. We just want certainty so we can manage our business in a certain environment as opposed to an uncertain environment. But this would, should happen in the next couple uh, of quarters. Do you think yes. that actually regulators across the world are just taking too much time? No, I think these things do take time because you need to take industry views, you need to go through a lot of process, and uh, at the end of the day, I agree with you that these issues should be resolved within this particular year. All right, sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. The CEO there of Investec.